60 minutes overtime. This week on 60 Minutes, we report from the Southern Red Sea. There, the U.S. Navy has been protecting commercial ships from attacks by the Houthis, a Shia militia from Yemen that's backed by Iran. For months, Houthi rebels have targeted ships that they said were tied to Israel in protest over Israel's war in Gaza. But they seem to be indiscriminately attacking vessels, many with no clear link to Israel endangering shipping in a key trade route that links Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. For the U.S. military, it's a mission that puts the Navy at the center of the fight. On our trip, we got an up-close look at what that involves, starting with a ride on a Navy reconnaissance plane, the P-8. It's essentially a Boeing 737 converted to conduct submarine warfare and surveillance. This is unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Can you imagine a 737 going from 20, 30,000 feet to then below 500 feet, just right above the water? That's what we experienced. That's why we had on personal flotation devices. They said we needed to wear them in case the plane had to land on the water, in case there was an emergency. From the P-8, we could see the types of ships the Houthis have been targeting in the Southern Red Sea and the U.S. warships sent there to protect them. One of those is the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, an aircraft carrier. We are in a constant state of vigilance. I have people manning our combat direction center 24 hours a day. We're always ready, right? All hours of the night, we can handle whatever comes this way. Has there been a time where you thought this aircraft carrier could come under fire? I would say yes, it could come under fire at any point. So we're gonna go to the top up to the bridge. Captain Christopher Hill is the commanding officer of the Ike. Like all naval aviators, he has a call sign or nickname. His is Chowda because of his New England roots. Copy, commence turn at 1347I. He's in charge of the ship's nearly 5,000 sailors who have been at sea since mid-October. The deployment was originally going to take them to the Mediterranean, but now their strike group is shooting down Houthi missiles and drones and attacking launch sites in Yemen, all from the Red Sea. We had no idea what we were getting into. Uh, our initial idea was that we were going to do uh, kind of a, a normal cruise where we, you know, once a month hit a port call. We didn't anticipate what happened, and we certainly did not anticipate what happened here in the Red Sea. Serving on Ike is a high intensity assignment. Sailors don't really get days off, and the pressure in the last few months has been high. But just about everyone we spoke with seemed invigorated by the mission, including some of the pilots. The sailors that are in my squadron are happy to be here. They are happy to be working hard, to be doing their job on a daily basis. They have a sense of pride that we are accomplishing a mission, that we're assuring that free flow of commerce. Commander Melanie Ali is the only female squadron leader on the Ike. We've seen a lot of different threats that I don't think we were expecting to see on this deployment. Uh, but, you know, when you realize that there's merchant shipping at risk, there's innocent people at risk, uh, you step up. We asked Captain Hill how he tries to keep morale on his ship high. We have a philosophy on the ship called the way of the warrior sailor, which it kind of says morale is the most important thing. I think it was Eisenhower when he said something to the effect of, uh, morale is the single greatest factor in successful war, right? So we focus on morale. The question is, what is morale, right? Is it happiness? No, it's not necessarily happiness. Morale is something else. It's sort of uh, you know, dignity, it's pride, it's inspiration, it's motivation. These things are what we try as leaders to instill in sailors. But how do you do it? We focus on loving and valuing sailors and giving them mission and purpose. People need to feel inspired. They need to feel like they're part of gr something greater than themselves. Radar's configured. As a leader, uh, one thing I have to do is communicate a lot. So uh, it, one of the ways we do that is through rapid, relentless, repetitive, positive communications, our 3 P. And what does that do? It's about honest talk. It's about positive talk. People need leaders to be honest with them, to tell them what the future holds, and to remind them how great they're doing. Uh, recognize individual sailors whenever I can to keep inspiring them to do great things. And that is what builds morale. 
I think it's a good model for the Navy. I think it's a good model for anywhere else on the planet, in any organization.